On the Ground, presented by The Cube. Here's your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are in downtown San Francisco at the Blockchain Conference San Francisco at the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center uh, in downtown San Francisco. I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE. We wanted to come out and really find out what's going on with this blockchain. It seems like the conferences are popping up all over the place. So we're joined in this segment by Lisa Chang, the founder and director of the Van Bex Group. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, a lot of big companies are here. What about startups? In, in your uh, world, what do you see as still some of the green spaces? What, what problems should startups still be attacking? Um, one of the things that we do with our firm is we help them find product market fit and value proposition and their competitive advantage. So one thing that blockchain startups or any startup really should be concerned with is like how are they doing something that's different and how do they communicate that effectively? So product market fit is huge, especially if you're looking to raise money from VCs or you're looking to crowdfund. Well, it's like all those just on. He said it's really about applications. Like it's always about applications. It's never technology for technology's sake. But you got to find a problem yeah. that needs a scratch. Yeah. So, what are some of the more creative ones that you've seen in in, uh, in your journeys that you would have never expected? Kind of a blockchain application for that type of a problem. Um, there's one company called Slocket, which is doing smart contracts for unlocking security doors, which I thought was really interesting. And now they've taken smart contracts to now um, you can heat up, you know, a thermos remotely just by putting in some money to a smart contract, which I thought was really cool. Okay, so dig down. What does that mean exactly? A smart contract to unlock a security door. Like what yeah. kind of a security door? And how does the contract get executed? Well, it can be like a decentralized Airbnb. Um, it could be a decentralized coffee shop. You know, everything is now automated. There's no person that needs to be there to give you the key to unlock the door so you can use the Airbnb. It's all um, in the cloud, facilitated by smart contracts and blockchain. <laughs> so you just so uh, you do whatever you're supposed to do, and the and the secret code arrives on your phone. That as well. Like you can have a, the private key sent to you so that you can then you know unlock uh, a wallet so that you can you know obtain you know access to a certain account, or you can just send money to the smart contract, which is what Slocket does, and they remotely unlock the door. Pretty exciting future, huh? Yeah, it sounds really cool. <laughs> March 2016. What should you be looking for over the next six months, nine months in 2016? You said we're really starting to get to a tipping point as evidenced by companies like Intel and Microsoft and, and IBM being on the stage. What are you looking for? What should people out in the field be looking for to start to see that, hey, this thing is not only real, but really starting to gain some momentum? Um, I think that we'll start to see projects like Ethereum kind of release uh, a more stable version of their client. And along with that, smart contracts being taken and put on things like Bitcoin and smart contracts enabling different types of banking relationships and merchant relationships. And that's what I would look forward to this year. All right, well Lisa, thanks for taking a few minutes and uh, good luck on your panel. Thank you, thanks. Absolutely. Uh, Jeff Rick here at the Blockchain Conference in San Francisco at the NASDAQ Entrepreneur Center in downtown San Francisco. Thanks for watching.